So large particles, such as some types of bacteria, can be engulfed by cells in the vesicles formed from the cell surface membrane. Uh, this process is known as phagocytosis. In the blood, there's these types of white blood cells that carry out phagocytosis, and they are known as phagocytes. They provide an important defense against pathogens that manage to enter the body. Some phagocytes travel in the blood but can move out of the blood vessels into other tissues. Here's how the process works. So chemical products of pathogens or dead damaged abnormal cells act as attractants causing phagocytes to move towards the pathogen, for example a bacterium. Phagocytes have several receptors on their cell surface membrane that recognize and attach to the chemicals on the surface of the pathogen. They engulf the pathogen to form a vesicle known as a phagosome. Lysosomes in the phagocyte move towards the vesicle and fuse with it. Enzymes called lysozymes are present within the lysosome. These lysozymes destroy ingested bacteria by the hydrolysis of their cell walls. The soluble products from the breakdown of the pathogen are absorbed into the cytoplasm of the phagocyte.